Wow, Brad, what a way to start the World of Outlaw Craftsman Sprint Car Season. Two wins in three races. Yeah, I'll tell you what, uh, to hats off to these guys. Uh, it's an unbelievable car to drive. You know, to show up uh, down here like that, I mean, we had a chance to win you know, every single night and uh, all three of the outlaw nights. Tonight to go fast time, win the heat, and, and win the main event, the only thing that we didn't do was the dash. So, you know, uh, it's a hats off to these guys. The track was lightning fast there. I uh, made it really hard to pass, and, uh, you know, the, the pace was just so fast. But, um, you know, I've been working out, so I'm glad I was working out there. I was able to, to kind of, you know, get through a few lap cars there. But uh, it, was, it was tricky for sure. But you never know how close the guys are behind you. So you just keep driving as hard as you can. But i got to thank Razorback Professional Tools again. Uh, you know, without them, we, this wouldn't be possible. Sage Fruit, Curb Records, Team ASC, Factory Kane, uh, Rob Capetta for the engines. I had the boss man here watching tonight, so glad he got to see me win because uh, he missed the other night when we won. So I uh, can't thank my guys enough, Lee, Rob, and Cole. Uh, great weekend and uh, sets us up for the rest of the year for sure. What's this say about you and your team to come out here at the Dirt Car Nationals, a win, second, and a win? Yeah, it's just it's unbelievable, really. I mean, you you, uh, you really hope for that when you come down here, but you know the competition's so stiff that you know you have to put yourself in position each and every time you're on the racetrack, and uh, you know it's not easy. Uh, one mistake and you're behind the eight ball. And uh, tonight we just uh, we did pretty much everything right, and luckily the dash draw helped us there. I mean that was going to be a tough racetrack to pass on. So you know uh, we'll just uh, celebrate now, but um, you know it's a long season ahead of us, and just because you start good doesn't mean you're going to finish good. So. Uh, We'll see what happens. How about it? One more time for the big cat, Brad. Thank Sleeper. you, Blake. This is uh, one of the toughest trophies in all of motorsports to win. Five nights of tough sprint car racing. Uh, and Brad, with two of the little gators, has earned the big gator championship for the sprint cars. So big round of applause for your overall champion, Brad Sweet. Lucas Wolf here. Lucas, heck of a run for you guys in the Zemco 1Z. A big move on Joey Saldana to take second and uh, appeared there in the closing line to maybe be inching closer to Brad Sweet. You guys showed a lot of speed this week. Uh, yeah. Yeah, certainly it was a great way to end the uh, the whole week for for all of us at Zemco Racing, and uh, it was a, it was a good race for us. We were able to uh, to catch a few breaks, lucky there at the beginning. That first start moved me up a row, and then uh, I was competitive the whole race, which was uh, certainly good. Uh, able to get by Joey and uh, Brad being caught behind uh, there and there was allowing me to catch up. But then once he got by, then I I was faced with the same thing and never quite got clear of him. So it was a uh, it was a good result for us. I think we were strong enough to challenge with Brad at the end, just couldn't quite get to him. So. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll go back home and uh, get things uh, headed up for our season back down there. Not too much longer to your racing back in Pennsylvania. Good luck and congratulations on a second place run. Thank you. Lucas Wolf comes home in second and we'll go grab Joey Saldana. Joey, another good run for you guys in the Roth Motorsports 83. You guys continue to gel. Very impressed with how quickly you guys are coming together here in the early parts of this season. Um, yeah, it was a great effort tonight. We just, uh, the first night we were decent and then the uh, you know, then we kind of struggled there, and tonight we actually put the whole night together, qualified well, and did everything right. We just uh, got a little free and um, just uh, messed up on a restart. Um, I, I think even if I choose the outside, I get beat on the bottom. So uh, hats off to Brad. He had a great car and uh, had the speed. When we got to the lap cars there at the end, I, I could hang with him, but uh, when we had to move around, I couldn't move. I was kind of stuck on the cushion. So uh, it was a great effort by the whole Roth team. And um, like I said earlier, can't thank Teresa and Dennis enough for the, the opportunity and, uh, and their commitment to the Outlaws. And um, hopefully we can uh, do better than what we did tonight in a couple weeks. Roth Motorsports continues to gain speed with their new driver, Joey Saldana. We'll send it back up to Booth for the rundown of tonight's finish with John Gibson.